and I think it should be on this snare right here. And, ooh, that's perfect. There's another filter right there. I did do that. That's right. So on this snare, I want to rotate it super fast. So we'll go ahead and insert a rotation keyframe right here. Uh, rotation. And then, actually, we'll move it to that. And then right here, we will rotate that 90 degrees uh, on, the, on the Y axis. So R, Y. And then we'll rotate it like this. And then at the end of that filter, we'll rotate it some more to try and get it as straight as possible. And we'll also move it down because the camera's not in the correct position. Now that's too fast, so we'll move this keyframe up a little bit. Hit G to move, of course. Way too fast. Uh, uh, a little bit better now. And I want this to stay in the same position, so we'll we'll, we'll do, delete that other keyframe that we had, and then we'll grab this guy right here, move him over until that kick. So we'll move it backwards one, and then on this kick, I want to snap it back to where it's supposed to be, which is this keyframe right here. So we'll hit Shift D, duplicate that, move it on over. Now we have this. Um, now we need some more motion on this, of course, because it just kind of stops right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it like that on the frame before the one where it snaps back so that it has motion to it. A little bit of um, fall off. And I'm, I might actually want to zoom it out again. So on that snare, we'll hit uh, go backwards by a frame, hit I, uh, and then move up by one using the arrow keys. And we'll zoom out a little bit. So now... And then on this frame right here, I will uh, hit I, and then on that frame where it snaps back, we'll put it back to 35. So now we have something like this. Um, if I merge these two together, if I merge those two together, and we grab this guy once again and put him there. Hmm. All right, so let's undo that. Uh, I like the snap. But I want to rotate it afterwards because it stops too quickly. So we'll rotate it RY like that. Um, and actually... We'll move these out a little bit. Because... Actually, we can't do that because it's rotating the wrong way. So if I go ahead and just uh, snap it uh, by rotating it myself, then it'll work a little bit better here. So what we have is uh, 35 for the focal length, and then we'll hit R, Y to rotate it something like that. So now it doesn't do some crazy weird uh, rotation thing when I zoom it in, zoom it back in. There we go, much better. And now for this little, um, that little, boom, boom, that thing, that right there. Um, which is a marimba, by the way, mixed with a couple synths to make it sound weird. Um, I want to change the color of the word styling. So we're going to change the blue color here. So let me go to that frame and grab that blue color. In the materials tab, we can go ahead and change the color here. So the frame before it, which is frame 5, 6, 7, 6, sorry. Uh, we'll hover our cursor on top of the color, hit I, and then we'll move up one. And then we'll change that to a different color. And we'll change that to a nice yellow because I thought that looked cool as well. So let me, what is that looking like? viewport shading because we have the other colors. Uh, you're not really even going to be able to tell, are you? Ah, uh, man. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you can tell a difference with that, right? Yeah, that looks different. So we'll hit I on our keyboard. So now it changes to yellow. And we got to change it back to blue somewhere. And I think, dun, 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 that's the melody that the marimba is about to do. So I think we can actually change it to a bunch of different colors during that entire time, which might be pretty cool. So right here as well is one of them. So if I go ahead and hover my cursor over top of this, hit I, then change this, and move up a frame, and then change this color to maybe a green. Uh, play it. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. So... So right here is the next one that I changed, is I think somewhere around here. So we'll go ahead and uh, hover our cursor over top, hit I. Then we will move up a frame and change this color again to maybe 
maybe a pink sure why not we'll just make it look all pink like the rest of it is and the next one is right here so we'll go ahead and hover our cursor i move up a frame change it to a different color and maybe we'll make this one white so we'll turn the saturation all the way down that looks pretty sweet actually i like the way that looks hit i and now and this is the second to last one have our cursor i move up a frame move up a frame change it to another color what we, what haven't we done uh maybe that nice peachy orange maybe something like that i and then the last one which is a big big one uh we'll have our cursor hit i move up a frame and change it back to the initial blue color which is this keyframe right here nope not that this is this keyframe right here so we'll grab that one shift d to duplicate we'll move it on up moving on up, and we'll put it right there I'm hitting g right there so now it snaps back to the blue on the last one so that looks good all right so now we have this with with the changing of colors which looks super good all right so i really like the way that yellow looks i'm glad we chose that one to be up there the longest because the other well, the ones are kind of quick um i do not like this pink at all i i hate it it looks terrible uh i don't like the way it looks so we'll just do solid black yeah sure and then uh that was pretty sweet right yeah sure and then we'll change this keyframe to solid black as well because now it's just changing colors so that's pretty cool so we have yellow green black white so so it goes from black to white which is pretty sweet and then we have the nice you know orangey peach and then back to the blue which looks pretty good and you can also do the same thing with the lights as well so if you want to change the color of the lights you can do that um i'm gonna do that over time though so on the first blue uh on the uh, first uh, color change which is this guy right here i want to change the color of the pink lamp so we'll hit i right there and then we will uh, go to the last color change which is this frame right here go back to that lamp uh and then change the color to maybe that maybe that kind of blue looks nice right yeah i love it i love it looks good and then we'll hit i so now it's going to change constantly until it gets there which is pretty cool and we can really change that color over and over again until we have something that we really like all right i'm back i took a little bit of a break once again and we're going to continue with this uh intro style graphic here uh now i thought about it and what i want to do here is with this lamp that see it's awkward for me because i've been gone for a while but uh with this lamp that we have now changed the color to i don't want it to change over time i want it to change with the colors of the uh letters so i've decided we're going to go ahead and move this keyframe the first keyframe up until uh right before that uh the other one so it changes on an instant nope not like that like that so it's right up against it so it changes instantly now uh, i want to go ahead so now what it does is this so the light changes back when it when it's blue um uh so what i want to do is i want to change this to whatever color is up here we'll go ahead and take a look Ooh, that looks good with the blue and the uh the yellow there okay so let's go ahead and uh so each one of these keyframes up here is what is changing the colors of the uh of the the font here so if we go on this frame then we go back to the lamp insert a keyframe right there and then we go in one more frame insert another keyframe i'm going to just put keyframes to mark where they are right now uh, and then we'll go back and change the colors of them later on so we'll go back to the color of the text right here uh back to the that lamp which is this one right here i go one keyframe up hit i um, and then we can just actually just scrub to the timeline just to see what's going on here. So one right here, I, one keyframe up, I, and then I think there's three more. One right here, two, I, hover, I, and blue, I think. Yeah, so that's the last one. All right, so sweet. Okay, so now we can go ahead and change these colors depending on what the color is of the font. So but this one's going to change to green. So I'll change this one to a, not a green, but maybe a yellow like that. Um, maybe a yellow like that. Yeah. I just want it to complement the color. So I don't want it to be green because green's not going to complement green if it's the same as that color. I want to make sure it's, it's right. So now...